happy saturday morning guys um i wanted to i'm getting ready to make something i've been wanting to do for a while um and i figure i'd film it and we can kind of see together the results um this is not something that i came up with there's tons of um videos on how to make your own texture paste again i'm late on the train like everything else but that's the way i love to do it um everybody instead of something coming out new and not really know you can watch videos and tutorials and things and see how certain people you know people are able to use them and then decide whether it's for you so i wanted to try my hand at some texture paste and i thought we could make some here and then i have a little stencil set up and maybe we could do a little test run so um I, as you some of you who've been looking into it you may realize that um texture paste is kind of expensive and i don't know how much that i will get into it because i love um the mixed media projects that you guys are doing but i don't know how often i would actually put it to use so this is perfect for me because i had to buy nothing <laughs> so i went down in my basement of goodies because i put kitchen kitchen materials that i don't use that often and i came across this airtight container but you don't even have to have well, not that this is fancy but you could have one of those um almost like the disposable ones with the like blue caps or red caps or whatever um just a little container that you don't plan on reusing for food and then you're going to need um, one cup of baby powder. This is Johnson & Johnson, but you can use, um, I had it over here, but you could just use dollar store. It doesn't matter. And some people have complained about the smell I've saw in videos, but um, I guess, and I've also heard that you can also use baking soda as a substitute for the baking powder, but I'm going with the baking powder, I mean, baby powder, because I have tons of it. <laughs> um, and then you're going to need a, a quarter cup of what is this oh i put it right in front of it um mod podge which this is old and i just haven't used it because it's the gloss i've heard a lot of people say that it doesn't have to be the gloss um just whatever you want to use up i've also seen people use elmer elmer's glue in replace of this so try to use what you have i love saving money you guys know how expensive some of these crafts can get so if we can diy it then let's do that so we'll try it so this is i just happen to have gloss but if you have matte i'm sure that's fine it's just a matter of glue and then the other one is uh, a lot of people have used gesso. I don't even have gesso. I'm not even sure exactly um, if it's a glue, like what exactly it's used for. I know you mixed media girls and guys out there um, <clears throat> use it for that, but I don't, I don't own any. So I was planning to use, I thought I had two of these. So this is how like last minute we are here, but I just wanted to use what I had. So I'm using... Um, white acrylic craft paint um, and replace a gesso so if you have gesso you can use that because you need a half a cup of that so um whoops i got paint on me but i didn't have two of these so i'm really we're really like taking some risks here i only the closest i, I had to another white and this is ice crystal ultra fine glitter paint so i don't know if that's going to affect it i plan on using it for clouds and polka dots and such so hopefully maybe it'll come out pretty and i've heard people say that they can you can also add color to this like if you want to use um a colored a different colored acrylic paint so um this was in replace of the gesso so again it is a cup of a cup of baby powder or you could try the baking soda um or is it baking powder don't don't do that just do baking powder because i don't want to tell you the wrong thing i mean baby powder and then um a half a cup of i have white paint so just get two of these small ones that are two flow um two ounces at your craft store you know how these can be really cheap just pick up two and then it'll be enough and you don't have to mix two different kinds like i did and then um a quarter cup of mod podge so i have them in my little heart measuring cups here and then here's my container and i also just have a couple these are just to use the ends to mix it or one of these cheap little foam brushes that you get on sale and then i also have at the end this is just a inexpensive this is because i'm just trying it and then you can go fancier because they have metal ones um but this is just a plastic uh palette knife from artist law from michaels it's really cheap so that is all we need so let's get started all right so here's my little container i'm going to use i'm going to move this out of the way now that i showed you what we are going to use so first what i'm going to do is add in the paint or the gesso if that's what you're using and I'm going to have to mix mine really good because of my two, the two different uh, kinds of paint. But, oh well, we'll see how it works. I like glitter. So maybe it'll work out to our benefit. Okay, so add all that in. And then I'm just using my, my foam brush to get the most out of it. And then you want to rinse these right away. I don't use these for food, so we're good. I have another set actually for food. All right, so let me just throw this in the sink. 
Okay, and then we're gonna dump in our Mod Podge. So just dump all that in. And I would recommend too, if you have like trouble, like I just kept my face away from it, but you know how the powder can dust up the baby powder. Just, you could either do it outside on like wait till spring and do this, you know, on a nicer day outside or have your windows open if that's something that bothers us. You gotta be careful of that if you have, um, I think I have strong lungs, but some people may have, you know, asthma or different things. So be careful with that. All right, so I'm going to dump this in the sink. Just to make for easier washing for myself. Okay, so now we have this mixture here. So let's just mix those two together. Okay, so it's nice and watery, so obviously that's not a good consistency for what we're trying to make the texture paste. So now what I'm going to do, I should grab a spoon, but I'm just going to use this, is add little by little, and this is where you want to be careful with the dusting coming up. I don't know if anybody's watching who does hair, it kind of reminds you of the, um, um, the powder for when you're doing uh, blonde highlights, and it, but exact, except that smells a lot worse, but see how like the... The white fumes are coming up, so just be careful. And I'm holding my breath, or I put my face away from it, so just don't breathe that right in. So you just take little by little, mix it in, kind of like pancakes. It seems like there's not enough um, liquid in there until you blend it in, then you need to add more. So I probably added almost half of that baby powder in there. And as you see, it's too, this is too, um, too runny right now obviously so you want to add, add in a little more so now we have about that left Ugh. even my Mod Podge has a weird smell it kind of smells like new sneakers but a little worse <laughs> I like the smell of new sneakers when I was like 15 I used to work at um, a sneaker store in the mall that was like my second job my first job was at a pizzeria <laughs> in certain phones but um, my second job my actually first real on the books job was um, a sneaker store and I just love the smell of new sneakers I know I'm nuts okay all right so I'm mixing and mixing and mixing and although it's coming very pretty it still looks a little bit too drippy so let's add in some more I'm gonna add almost all of it in here now so we don't have much left in here if you can say so let's continue mixing and you see all the smoke mess it's making. Okay, and I may switch brushes in a second, but I'm just trying to... Okay, it's getting a lot better. This may be good. All right, let me... What I'm going to do is just clean the edges of this brush off. And I'm going to switch out to use the end of one of my paintbrushes. So again, try using everything you have at home. So you don't have to spend any money. That way, if it's a flop, then you don't have to worry. All right, let me use this one. I have this paintbrush here. Not that it matters what kind of paintbrush. And then I have this one that's really long um, stem or handle. So it's probably too thin for this job, but I'm going to make it work. So see now it's getting harder to mix. So it's nice and thick. Kind of reminds you of like a spackle. Um, and I've heard some people use that um, caulk. They use caulk for this, and it's cheaper, like the quick. I don't forget what the brand is. But um, let's just keep mixing, mixing, mixing. So I don't know if we even need to add that last little bit. So let's see. Um, a lot of people say the videos I watch, they don't want it to be dripping. And I haven't used this too much. So um, let's add in a little more and see if we can get it a little thicker. And people have said... And I don't know, obviously, because this is my first batch. People have said that this will last them a long time, and it's definitely cheaper than buying um, the modeling the texture paste, um, and that this will last them a good long while. So I don't know. I, I would think that it would dry up, especially as thick as we're starting out. But we shall see. So I guess if you keep an airtight container, you may get some good use out of it. So I'm just giving it another good mix. Okay, that might be better. I mean, it's still dripping a little bit, but it's pretty thick. So I'm going to stop there. This is how much we have left in here. So just about all of it. But um, let's see what we can do with this. And then we can always add in more. And that's another thing that they've said on the videos. You can always add or subtract if you don't like this amount. Like if you're trying to make less, 
you can play with the recipe a little bit. Um, so let me get out my stencil. I'm just wiping my hand on a towel over here. So just put some wash. You have this little, I don't have very many stencils because again, I'm new to this and I know a lot of you love your stencils. So, um, <clears throat> I taped this just a little scrap of cardstock and I figured this would be a good color that you can see. So let's just try it out. So here's my little um, palette knife. I'm just going to grab a little bit of our mixture. We probably need more than that actually. And we can always add more. So I got a little chunk here. I'm going to put it on. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to spread it all around. And it's not going to be perfect, but let's try it out. Let's get a little more. So I don't know if you're probably supposed to do this and scrape it all off. Let me do a spot where I don't and see what the difference is. So this spot, I'm just going to mound it on. And I don't, I think it's running through, but. So I'm going to leave that like that. And then this spot, I'm going to, sorry if my head was just in the way. This spot, I'm going to scrape it. Well, let me just make sure all the little nooks and crannies have it so I'll just do this little section so this part I'm going to scrape it clean so let's see if that's what we're supposed to do okay so let's take this off and see what we have see how we did so for me this beats buying it at the store and it's fun and um you know you can test it out without I kind of moved a little bit but oh look it worked okay so let me throw this in the sink real quick I also heard people say you gotta make sure you wash your stencils right away so it doesn't ruin them. So I'm just rinsing it in the sink and I will be right there to see how it turned out. Okay, that's good enough for now. And let me just dry my hands. So look, it looks cool. So, okay, I'm guessing you're definitely supposed to wipe it off. <laughs> so that's how much of a beginner I am with using stencils. But, and I know, I'm sure people, those of you who are seasoned in this stencil, you could, you were probably yelling, no, wipe it off. But, um, so here's the look it got and look at that texture, you guys. So, and it's not, um, it's not too heavy where it's like buckling the paper. Um, cause I've heard some people say different things, but look, this is how it came out if you didn't wipe it. So I guess we're want, we're wanting to wipe. So imagine if you had ones that were more spaced out, you could do snow, um, just textured snow or textured polka dots for like a birthday card, or I have Chevron. I only have like three stencils to my name and they're like all connected to one and one's like falling hearts, like it's all in one stencil. So I'll have to try these out and I've heard people say you can also cut stencils on the silhouette machine. So I give this mixture a thumbs up. We're going to let it dry. Um, and if I have any issues, I'll leave it in the comments below after it dries, but I'm kind of really excited about this. So now we have our own, our very own texture paste. I'll clean up the edge and put the airtight lid on and we'll have it for future uses. So thanks for watching guys and hope you tried this out. Bye.